Has the cash flow been tight lately? Interest rates soaring, insurance rates soaring, deals are harder and harder to find. Well, if you're like that, you need to check out Airbnb and short-term rentals and start supplementing Airbnb and short-term rentals into your real estate strategy because you can make two and a half to three times the gross rents of what you would on long-term. It is a little, little trickier, a little bit more management intensive, but if you're looking to do that, then watch this video. Hey guys, Jay Lehman here. I talk all things real estate. I want to break down for you one of my Airbnb short-term rental units here in Champaign, Illinois. I put it in an apartment complex with long-term tenants and one of the units is short-term. I want to break down this two-bed, one-and-a-half bath I have in Champaign, Illinois. We're going to look to midterm this for about $2,400 a month. Now, midterm is like staying for a month or more. Usually that one to six months stay is a sweet spot, but just do short-term, uh, shorter than that, which is, you know, one, two, three, four days. I like to do a three to four day minimum though, because it keeps the parties at bay, if you know what I mean. All right, so let's go check it out. So like I said, if you're looking to get more cash flow out of your rentals, consider Airbnb or short-term rentals. They can boost your cash flow and they can also help you buy a property that you might not be able to buy as a long-term rental, but you could short-term it. So if you're looking to Airbnb or short-term, why don't you like, why don't you follow, subscribe, put a comment down below, message me and let me know. I can help you get an Airbnb or a long-term rental, but an Airbnb or a short-term rental here in Central Illinois, we actually have a pretty strong demand for short-term rentals.